Damn, Tay, you play too much. Hey guys, what's up and uh, welcome back to this channel. Uh, so as you can see here, um, we're talking about Ozo 9. This is going to be another um, brief um, overview, introduction to what it is. And I'm going to have the website up on the screen for y'all. And I'm going to go into my doll FL Studios and show you how it looks uh, actually in person. And then later on, I'll do a video on all the stuff that I talked about. So I'll do a video with examples of Nectar 3. Neutron 3, Ozone 9, and um, the next one I'm going to do is Vocal Synth also. But hey guys, but let me know how I'm doing. Um, leave leave a thumbs up, like this video, whatever, subscribe, follow on Instagram. Um, I make these videos just to give back to the community, you know, stuff that I learn. Um, you know, I try to explain it in a way that I can understand. Um, I think other people can understand. So, you know, let me know if you like these videos. But let's get right into this. So, Ozone 9, made by Isotope is the future of mastering, as you can see on the screen. Um, all these you could try for like 10 day free trial or whatever. Um, but let's just scroll down. Let's see what they got. Why would you choose those or not? Um, so all of them have this AI powered um, a learning thing on here. It's called AI powered mastering. I think on Nectar is like, what, vocal assistant. And then on neutrons like track assistant so it'll analyze you know the sound source and it'll do the algorithmic algorithmic whatever <laughs> math and stuff to analyze it and come up with a you know of a preset that you could follow and you could change all these you know it's not like baked into or whatever um so you got that you can match match to your reference so you can upload a reference you know track so say you know i kind of want to go for this mastering sound right here and um you can it'll give you a custom eq curve taken from your favorite reference track the tonal balance which is think you got to pay for um i got ozone 9 standard so maybe it's in the full-blown um version um but this one helps you keep your frequency in line and stuff like that so um the cool thing about this is that so like ozone for streaming guys so new thing is streaming people don't make a lot of cds no more so cd quality is different from well online quality um like we learned in school um so right here i help you get your music um ready for prime time in today's world of streaming audio make sure your music is at the right loudness and you know the correct um volume and whatnot because if not these um uh streaming services will like lower or you know raise your volume up and everything um and so it won't sound as best in those you know programs whatever like soundcloud things sound different on soundcloud um for some reason which is basically the compression of what they do with it um kind of like we upload a picture on instagram it's a compressed file um so it doesn't look as great as a raw file um but yeah so let me just open it up oh let me see ozone 9 advance yeah so there's elements standard and advanced i got standard um I like it so far but let me open it up for you guys so y'all can see what it looks like person all right so let's go here let me pick a random track Ozone 9, haven't used it, used it much, used it that much. I'm still making stuff and, you know, mixing and all that good stuff. So, but I have touched it on a few songs. Let's just see what it does. Let's see if it sounds way better. And it does sound better just like if you just let it analyze it and do what it do. It sounds way better. Um, of course, you got to, you know, tweak it and everything. But as you can see right here, you got your master assistant. So you'll click here. And it'll say, okay, do a modern or vintage, you know, loudness, um, intensity. So the, what's it? I think the, the, yeah, the LU, the LUFS, LUFS, I think. Um, so you got the low, medium, or high, or you can do a reference. So you upload a reference track. And it's just going for streaming or CD. So once you do that, it's going to listen for the sound. There's no sound going on right now. But when that happens, it'll come up with something tailored to that that they recommend so maybe like a maximizer here eq there 
match EQ, uh, imager, um, and I don't know, a dynamic EQ. I'm sorry, not dynamic EQ. Um, compressor. And the vintage compressor, I don't know. This is what I'll come up with. And then you could tweak all these, do what you gotta do to them and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. Um, or if you just wanna go, sorry, if you wanna go for the, you know, this preset stuff, you know, just like the other stuff, you can break it down, genre specific mastering. And they got a ton of presets. You know, Neo Soul, Modern Pop, Modern Hip Hop, Rock Hip Hop, Rock, Simple Down Tempo, Trap, Vintage Hip Hop, Vintage Rock, and you go by instruments. So, so yeah, so this thing is um, a very powerful tool, and you can do a lot. You can get lost in this, and, you know, during the week, some practice, and get some stuff up for y'all for all the... Um, for all the ozone stuff that I talked about earlier. Um, but yeah, but that's basically it, guys. Let me know how you like this video. Let me know uh, if you use Isotope. Let me know um, if you don't use it. You know, what do you use? What mastering um, plugins do you necessarily use? Or do you even master? Some people don't master. Um, I know one who uh, learned about mastering in school, but I never mastered. Um, but now I'm learning how to master. <laughs> um, yeah, so just let me know down below in the comments, guys. Uh, be safe out there and have a nice day. Peace.